Hey friends, another cassette deck. Imagine that. <laughs> this one has all of its uh, manual in pieces, no less. Uh, I haven't counted the pages to see if they're all there, but there's a manual there for this one. Anyways, <laughs> this is a Fisher uh, CRW913A. It's pretty much their run of the mill component uh, stack deck, uh, dub double cassette deck so one of the things about these cassette decks is that usually typically when you see uh, the decks paired like this uh, they're cutting costs by utilizing one motor instead of two when they're on separate sides you know you can't run belts very efficiently across so usually those have dual motors um, anyway so uh, this dude uh, is working just fine. I haven't had to do any service to it uh, outside of just you know getting the the dust and uh, what have you age off of it. Uh, it looks really good actually, and you can tell it's actually been used quite a bit, especially on this left hand side with the uh, the wear marks here. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but um, been listening to uh, Space Odyssey, and it has been. Doing wonderful. I haven't heard uh, any wobble. So I'm going to go ahead and list it as working, good to go. The uh, features on this thing are pretty much run of the mill, right? Your stop, rewind, fast forward, uh, eject, reject. Uh, and then you have um, dubbing, high speed, normal speed dubbing, Dolby, noise reduction on and off. And then you have your metal uh, cassette actually this one is a little bit it is nice in, in a sense that you can have a non-metal and a metal uh, on either side and, and uh, record from one side to the other based on whether it's metal or not I think that actually I think now that I say that out loud I think that's a pretty common feature uh, for dubbing uh, cassette decks dual cassette decks so uh, disregard that as being special all right so like subscribe hope this helps uh, if you're trying to make a decision on whether or not to buy one of these, uh, these are, uh, by the way, these are like dime a dozen. Uh, I think you can pick one of these up anywhere from like 30 to $80, maybe even lower than that. Um, varying condition, right? Like this one, everything working, everything doing good. It's probably a $40, $50. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a $30. I don't know. Go out and look. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Yep.